Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. My name is Marianne. If you guys are new here, welcome to my channel or welcome back. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what is in my work tote bag. I've made a TikTok about my work tote bag when I first started my job, but now I've just been accumulating so many stuff in my tote bag. I figured I'd just sit down and do work tote bag um, instead of my normal like what's in my purse bag just because like I'm working pretty much every day now so I figured yeah so let's show you guys all of that I know I've been absent on YouTube for a little bit I've been kind of in a funk of like what to film for you guys um I'll talk about it in a little second but that's why I've just been like, not uploading just uploading more shorts and stuff because yeah, I just don't know what to really be filming and just been like feeling goofy about everything. So I figured let's just do a little nice fun video for you guys. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel because we're so close to 1k. We're super, super close. It would mean a lot to me. And check me out on all my socials. Definitely TikTok. I upload there a lot more often, but I'm also more active on the other socials. So besides that, let's get right into my work tote bag. Before I dive into the bag, I want to talk about kind of like my funk a little bit. If you guys are like been on my channel, you guys have been seeing I'm in the process of law school and like my applications. And I just feel like right now I'm so focused on just like getting feedback from that and just kind of seeing where my plan is going and basically my path um, because it can be that I really will have to move somewhere in like three months which is pretty stressful or you know law school is not in my path this cycle which is also kind of stressful so my mind's like all over the place so YouTube has not definitely been my first priority and I know sometimes I try to upload but being in this whole application cycle as a first timer not really knowing a lot of stuff it is hard and sometimes it takes away from me like sitting down to film content, especially like long videos. That's why I tend to do more TikTok videos because they're shorter. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with this funk right now because most of my channel I do a lot of like LSAT prep, law school stuff, but I also do like doing fashion and beauty. However, I, I realize that those don't do as well on my channel. Uh, but there's something I do like to do filming so I try to do it like a mix of everything so yeah that's why I've pretty much just been MIA and not really posting or just kind of doing quick vlogs and that's why I don't like doing quick vlogs because I know they're not the best quality and they're like all over the place so I rather just like really plan my videos out and have them uploaded for you guys but that's my whole spiel now let's for real get into the bag all right, this is my tote bag. It's my work tote bag. I got it on Zara when they were having their sales. Like a nice crocodile. Ignore my nails. I have to fix them. Like a nice like crocodile um, uh, kind of design. And then it has like a little gold little chain. And then it clips in between. It's a nice bag. It fits a lot of my stuff. Um, I kind of want to get like a organizer because I feel like I'm constantly looking for my things but it's also because I have so much in here uh so let's just dive right okay so the first thing in my bag is my Beats headphones especially to commuting to work I like listen to music normally in the morning I'll tend to just read because I'm like still kind of waking up so I would rather not listen to music but I just have my rose gold Beats that I normally listen to on my way back from work because um, I normally watch like TikTok or like a movie when I'm commuting back home. The next thing is what I was saying is a book. I would like to have a book with me. I'm almost done with this book. Um, it's called All the President's Men. If you guys know me, I do love my history books, but I also like my fiction books. So my last book was a... Oh my god, I don't remember her name, but it's the author who wrote Perfect Marriage, which highly recommend that book. But now I'm like, okay, let's switch it and let's read a nonfiction book. So this is very good. It's about the Watergate scandal. And it's pretty much how it got 
uncovered. So I am reading that right now and I'm almost done. And then I'm gonna pick back to um, the same author. She's coming out with a new book um, who wrote The Perfect Marriage. So I'm very excited. It actually comes out today, which is just reminding me I have to pre-order the book. The next thing is I have this Glossier um, beauty bag. Mine's definitely beat up. I don't use this just for beauty. I do use it sometimes when I travel, but I use it for like a lot of my miscellaneous things. So the first thing in the front pocket, I have a keychain that was with my keys. And then I have a, I'm gonna cover it because it has my job on it, but it's like a keychain and a cap opener as well as a flashlight, so keep it handy. Which I was like looking for a bottle opener when I was at work the other day, I couldn't find it. I have my keys thrown in here. And then I have some beauty miscellaneous. I have like a travel size door perfume that I like to keep perfume in my bag all the time. And then I have my Rare Beauty um, Dewy Lip Balm in here. My Merit blush, which I was at the time using it as like a lip balm, but I'm gonna put that bag in my beauty bag. And then I have a NYX lip liner. It's like a matte lip liner in the shade Whip Caviar, which is my favorite shade ever. And then also I just have a mini Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. Okay, the next thing in the bag is just like a portable charger. Um, especially commuting, I don't want my phone to die, so you gotta always have a cube in the charger. And then next thing is just my wallet, I'm just covering it up, and then I have my hair tag, because I always lose my stuff all the time. But that's pretty much all that I keep in here. Sometimes I'll throw different stuff, it's just depending on what I need for today. The next thing in my bag is just like a little beauty bag from Sephora. Um, I have a hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. This, oh, I just unzipped it. This is like the winter candy apple from their winter collection. And then I have my gloss of the month still. Um, the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss is in hot cocoa. I have this Bite Beauty Lip Liner, which I only was wearing it for one day, so I'm gonna put it back. And then Lysol, um, kind of, Lysol spray, not kind of, but yeah, I just, I don't know, recently, I don't know because it was just like when COVID happened, but I just been like very more aware about germs and I just need to disinfect everything. My back is like where I'm always scrambling to find everything because I just throw it in there. So that's why sometimes I like to use the beauty organizer to like organize all this, but it's just been a minute since I've organized everything. So next thing I'm gonna push it in. It's just got a little hairbrush. My hair is always detangling after work. Um, wipes again. You have to clean everything, especially when I like go get gas. I like to make sure I like wipe my steering wheel because I'm grabbing my hands. Like disinfect everything. I have my Ray-Ban sunglasses, especially if I'm just waiting for the train. I can put them on. It's finally getting nicer over here. Like the weather's like going up and down. But last week it was like 80 degrees and it was so beautiful. Um, in this case, I just have my regular glasses because girl cannot see. I have another lip product. It's just a Dior lip glow. I got some post-it notes because you know sometimes on my commute home I like to write down things I might have forgot and if I don't write them down I'll forget. I have another hand sanitizer again you never know because everything's just all over the place and I can never find it. Got a pen for my post-it notes and also I love these because they come so in handy. I have one. I literally have one right here. Is it the native um, deodorants. This one is in Sugar Cookie, which I bought for their holiday collection. I always like to keep it in one of my purses, like from going out, especially clubbing. And then I have this cucumber mint one that I like to keep in my bag. And then I also just have a charger for my Beats headphones, just in case my 
headphones die and I could just charge it at work. Normally, depending on the day, I'll throw my heels in my bag or have a separate bag because I wear shoes to commute to work because I'm not going to wear heels all day. I already have to be in heels for eight hours, so I know I will have it in my bag as well. But yeah, that is pretty much it that I have in my work tote bag. Okay, so that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoy this quick, nice, fun, what's in my work tote bag. I feel like I throw so many things in there and I just need to keep it organized. But in regards to more videos, I'm going to be kind of like brainstorming, planning, just because a lot's going on, honestly. And um, I just need to like figure out my plan with everything. So if you guys have any recommendations, please do let me know down below. I'm more than happy to check them out and film it for you guys. Sometimes I do need that help because I want to know what kind of videos you guys like. Do you just like more of like law school related content? How much do you like a week? Do you like some beauty, like fashion, lifestyle? Do you like those vlogs? I want to know so I can brainstorm and have these videos prep for you guys. Because I think that's why I delay in posting because I don't know what to film when it comes to posting day. I like to post Mondays and Saturdays. But then it comes to those days and I'm like, I don't know what to film. So please, it'd be appreciated if you guys have any ideas for me. Let me know down below, but also check me out on my TikTok if you guys wanted to see short, quick, fun videos. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it always means a lot to me. We're so close to 1K. Never really thought it would ever happen, honestly, when I first created my channel a few years ago. But I will see you guys in the next video and I hope you guys have a great week. Bye.